Hi, my name is Jasmine Joshua and I'm the Producing Artistic Director of Reboot Theatre Company. Our mission is to test new interpretations of established works through non-traditional casting, design, and methods yet to be discovered. So thank you for watching and welcome to our fundraising page. So we are at 67% of our goal of reaching $5,500 by the end of this year. We're so close, and this is our final push so that we can meet that number and produce a glorious production in spring of 2018. So here are the top three reasons why we need the cash. One, we would like to be able to produce a show with a larger cast, which means more money to produce more costumes, to be able to afford the rights for a larger show, to maybe have more, um, to have a larger band. Basically, we want to be able to open up more opportunities for diverse actors to get a shot at roles that maybe they wouldn't normally be able to play. Um, second reason, we would like to be able to pay <laughs> those artists, both on, st on stage and off, um, a larger stipend than we've previously been able to afford. And third reason, is um, we'd like to be able to up our production values, kind of similar to number one. We'd like to be able to afford perhaps a nicer set, nicer uh, costumes, nicer, uh, more materials for props, um, just to give a little extra padding so that our productions are as professional and beautiful as possible. So I wanted to talk a little about our company and what we've done in the past. Um, our inaugural show was the nation's first all-female fully fledged production of 1776 the musical it was nominated for six local broadway world awards thank you very much <laughs> and it was such an honor to be able to uh, bring 26 women of all ages ethnicities and orientations to the stage uh, it was such a truly uh, special production i got to play a bucket list role of john adams and what i found was that people came up to me after the show and said, you know, after the first five minutes, we didn't even notice you guys were women. We were so invested in the characters and the story. And it just got us thinking, you know, what other stories can we tell in a non-traditional way? Next was our stunning production of the musical Fly By Night that was mounted in uh, fall of 2016 as a Seattle premiere. With permission from the authors, we cast three female identifying actors in traditional male roles, all of whom garnered local nominations for Best Actress. Um, our brilliant Barb Klingberg, who designed and built our award-winning costumes for 1776, also did costumes for Fly By Night, and they were just stunning. Everything about this production was stunning. We were so lucky um, to have an incredible... Uh, group of artists both on stage and off really working to make this a magical magical show so then we decided to do a non-musical and we mounted the searingly funny production of private lives by noel coward as a non-binary artist this production was uh, very personally special to me because with permission from the Coward Estate, we were able to reimagine the male protagonist as a trans masculine person and also cast a marvelous trans actor in the role. And to be able to turn a cis male character into a trans character was a truly amazing experience for everyone because it just seemed like the clues were all in there just waiting to be highlighted. We had such a blast playing around with innuendo and gender roles and audiences really responded to it. And what's next? Well, that depends on you. On December 12th, we will be streaming a 12-hour live telethon on our website, www.rebootheater.org, and you are welcome to come and watch the antics. <laughs> it's going to be wild. And if you're local to Seattle, you can actually buy tickets to our variety show at the end of the night. So please, please help us reach our goal and share this fundraiser so that we can continue to bring diverse and non-traditional theater to our audiences. Support live theater. Support diverse theater. Support Reboot Theater Company. <laughs>